pipe or the water and you discover that the water is not flowing, something might be wrong. It might be as a result of there is a clog somewhere that prevents that water from reaching down, from touching you. So also we have discovered that in life there are some clogs that we need to deal with. There are some clogs we need to take out that can allow us to be successful. I love the scripture that says in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, it said, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Another thing is in third John chapter 1, verse 2. It said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. So now the most important thing is that we have established the basis that it is the will of God for you to be successful. It is the will of God for me to be successful. So if you are not living in success, it means something is definitely wrong somewhere. And then we need to understand that fact because if we don't deal with those clogs, if we don't take out those clogs, we'll just keep running around in circle and we will not be making headway. Number one, I'm going to talk on two things today because I've, I've just got 20 minutes. And the number one thing is the past is behind you. Amen? Amen? Amen. The past is behind you. Amen. One of the things you need to take away from your life if you must be successful, is to forget about your past. Oh, yes. Your past is gone. Your past is buried. Your past is forgotten. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 43 verse 18, the scripture said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Hallelujah. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way. In the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, look at what the scripture is saying. Now, I will make a way in the wilderness. Amen. Now, what wilderness is talking about here is a land that has not been cultivated. Right. It's like an idea that has not even happened to any man before. He said, I will make a way in the wilderness. Wilderness is a place where there's no pathway. But God is saying to somebody today that he will make a way in that wilderness for you now. In a place where there is no pathway and God making a way for you, it means you will be a trailblazer. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. It means you will be the first to shut that course. Oh, yeah. Then others can follow. And he said, and rivers in the desert. Desert in a place where there is no water. Now the ideas that have not happened to man before. God is saying that I will use you as a river in that desert. Hallelujah. The ideas that have not occurred to people before. In fact, science is telling us something. A man has only been able to harness about 10% maximum of his brain capacity. Now, it means that with 10%, we have built mega airports. It means that with 10%, Facebook was created. It means that with 10%, Twitter came into existence. It means that with 10%, trains that are very fast, that can move swiftly, has been created. It means that drones have been created just with 10% of our brain capacity. Now, if man has been able to use 10%, what about the 90%? Wow. Can you imagine the potential that we have that have not been tapped into? And God is telling somebody here tonight that I will make you the rivers in that desert. Amen. The place where water has not come from. I will make you that river in the desert. Now, I want us to understand something. That the dreams of your future, they are more valuable than the history of your past. Oh, yes. yeah. You have a future ahead of you. Yeah. Your past is gone. Yeah. No matter how terrible the past might have been, that past is gone. Yeah. Even the success that you have enjoyed in the past can become your water if you are not careful. <laughs> You know, some people, when they enjoy a little bit of success, they say, yeah, he thought to us, the Lord helped me. But I tell you, there's still something greater to accomplish. There's still something more powerful to achieve. If only you don't allow that success to get into you, then you keep on, you know, 
breaking new grounds even for the Lord. Don't raise a memorial of your past failure and defeat. Mm. That you fail today does not mean you will fail tomorrow. Yeah. Somebody is singing a new song, oh, I failed. This thing happened to me. I don't know why my life is like this. I don't know why my family is going down this way. I don't know why this business idea, whatever it is, is going that way. Don't raise a memorial. Mm. It is gone and it is forgotten. Constantly look unto the Lord and he will direct your path. Yeah. Now, can you imagine driving a car 100% of the time looking at the rear view mirror? What's going to happen? When you're driving a car and 100% of the time you're looking behind and driving, before long you will be dead. Before long you will be gone. Now, that's how it is when you're looking at the past. You know, it's like you you want to make progress, but somehow because of you are looking behind, before you know it, you will just end in complete ditch. I can imagine a man that is driving with his eyes looking at the past, and the man that is driving with his eyes fixed forward, who will get to his destination first? Definitely the man that is looking ahead will get to his destination first. Successful driving, as we all know it, involves constantly, maybe you just take a little peep behind and see, well, am I on the right path? Am I going on well? But you have to constantly look ahead of you, except a man that has decided to kill himself, except a man that has decided to commit suicide, who say, well, I'm just going to drive with my eyes looking behind, and then before you know it, he will drive into the dish and, and kill himself. Looking back is dangerous. Oh, yes. Yes, Looking back is dangerous. You need to look away from that and continue to move ahead even in the Lord. You cannot start in the next chapter of your life by looking at the old one. Mm -hmm. The old one is closed. The old one, God, is going is set to open a new chapter in somebody's life. Yeah. It is time for you to move on. The past is gone. It is time for you to continue your journey. Yeah. I know you might have failed before, mm. but that is not the end of it. Oh, yeah. It is your ability to pick up yourself. Oh, it is your ability yeah. for you to rise oh, and to move forward oh, that can change the story of your life. Let me tell you something. Everybody has got a past. Even the saints have got a past. But the beautiful thing is that the sinner also has got a future. Oh, yes. Whatever it is, everybody sitting here, you have a future ahead of you. Many of the great inventions we see today, many of those people that invented them had failed at one point or the yes. other. Yes. Thomas Edison, he attempted to create a fluorescent board over a thousand times he oh. failed. And when they asked him, how were you able to go through a thousand times mm. and yet you did not give up? He said something, I have only realized that what I am not to do for this thousand time kept motivating me because I know I'll be closer to the bridge eventually. His name is written in gold today. Amen. It's long gone, but we're talking about him. It's long buried, but history has a place even in his life. Okay. Beloved, that it is time for you to move forward. Don't look back. Looking back will keep you behind. Looking back will put your back to the ground. It is time for you to move ahead. If you do not faint, you will be rewarded for your persistence. Amen. I have never seen a man that have been persistent following a stream that will not eventually make it. Ooh, the person will definitely. Yes. That is the thing you need to do. You need to keep at it. Yes, you may come, oh, you may do stuff and people will say, what is it trying to do? What is it trying to pass across? Don't listen to the naysayers. Just keep moving ahead. Let your heart be focused on where you're going. I tell you something, when you're successful, you are successful. Yes. Success is going to attract people. Hallelujah. Now they may not see it now and say, what is it talking about? What is it saying? But when the time comes, God himself will bring you to that destination. Yes. And nothing will hold you back. Yes. Don't allow anyone, no matter who the person is, to discourage you because they know one or two things about your past. Yes. They tell you, who is he? I know him. They know you in the days of your little beginning. Uh -huh. And they say, who is he talking? Ah, we went to high school together. We went to college together. I know him. We used to sit together. But I tell you, there's somebody sitting here today. There are people that know you now. When they see you in the coming months, they'll be amazed. Amen. And they'll say, wow, there's a shift in the life of this person. 
There's a transformation that has happened in the life of this person that have moved this person even to the next level. Listen, you, you see people you've been to college together with them. And maybe their names are ringing all over the world. They were classmates with you. Maybe somehow you got to know because they lived in the same neighborhood. But what made the difference? Beloved, it is because they held tenaciously to their dreams. They never gave up. Even when they were in prison, like Joseph, they never gave up. The dream was alive. He said, regardless of whatever happened, I know where I am coming from. I know I have a background. But I want you to know something. That your background cannot keep you to the ground. No. But it's going to be a springboard for you to get on high for what God wants you to achieve. When you have a past, learn from it. You know, the past is there as a lesson. And what the past will do in your life is to tell you what not to carry with you to your future. That's right. Because you have been able to learn from the mistake. Yeah. You have been able to learn the lesson. And it's time for you to move ahead even into your life. Beloved, no matter what happened, don't stress over the past. It is gone. Don't lose sleep over the future because it, it, because it is ahead of you. Today is the currency that you have. Spend it wisely. Because if you don't spend it wisely today, there's no future for you tomorrow. So don't begin to fret. Ah, I'm anxious. What's going to happen to my tomorrow? What about today? Be, everyone seated here today. You are a product of your past. Oh, yes. Right. Where you are today is as a result of what you have done yesterday. Mm -hmm. And where you will be tomorrow is as a result of what you will do today. Yeah. Now, the difference is this. What you have done in the past is gone. Mm -hmm. But what you are doing today is still real. Mm -hmm. Why not do it wisely? Mm -hmm. And God will take you to that level that he wants you to be. Amen. Very quickly, number two. Number two that I'll be talking about is stop the excuses. Mm -hmm. That's one of the clog I have discovered in the pipe of people becoming successful in life. Stop the excuses. People give excuses a lot. There's something I've discovered. When you are a giver of excuses, it will execute you. When you dwell on excuses, excuses today, excuse tomorrow, at the end of the day, your destiny will be executed. Luke chapter 14 and in verse 18. The scripture says, and they all with one consent began to make excuses. The first said unto him, I have brought a piece of ground and I must need go and see it. I pray thee, have me excuse. Excuse. Excuse is terrible. Do you know, if I, there was a guy that, that, that started, that was meant to start the Facebook with um, Mark Zuckerberg and the rest of them. And he was invited to come here. He didn't see the picture. He had a short-sighted view of what this is going to turn out wow. to be. Eventually, he gave excuse. Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't think I want to be a part of this. And do you know, some time ago, they estimated what his net worth would have been wow. if he had remained with Max Zuckerberg. What hundreds of millions of dollars. Wow. If only he had not given excuse. Now, People tell you they have not done it before. It cannot be done. Beloved, I tell you, there's nothing impossible unto him that believe it. Hallelujah. That's what the scripture says. Oh, yes. Now, if the scripture says there's nothing impossible, I believe that there's nothing impossible unto him that believe it. Who says that thing, that thing cannot be done? Who says that project cannot be executed? Who says that ministry cannot blossom and expand? Who say your family cannot get to the height that God has stopped giving the excuse? Wow. People will come and they'll say, what are you trying to do? They will discourage you. But in the midst of that discouragement, it is time for you to go through it. It is time for you to move out through it. Stop giving the excuse. Now, look at the life of Moses. Moses was a stammerer. And yet God said, Moses, it is you that I have chosen. Moses said, God, but you know what? I don't think that I can do it. But God said, regardless, it is still you that I want. Don't you think that God could have healed Moses? If God wanted to heal Moses, he could have healed him. But God said, no, I'm not going to heal you. I'm going to give you a supporter that will help to support your ministry. Now, in the midst of all his inadequacies, in the midst of all the impediments that surrounded him, Moses approached even Pharaoh in his elaborate 
gigantic palace. Mm. A man that was a stammerer walked into the palace of the greatest king in the then world. And now he was seated on the throne and all his magicians and, and soothsayers were seated around him and Moses came forth to speak unto Pharaoh bringing words from God in heaven. And the first thing that came out of the mouth of Moses was that he began to stammer. He was stuttering. He couldn't talk. He wanted to say something about God. He was, he couldn't talk. And yet, all the magicians and the soothsayers and Pharaoh, they started laughing at him. Who is this joker that is coming to talk to us? And eventually, when it was time for the manifestation of the wonders of the rod he had in his hand, when he threw it on the floor, and then the magician did the ears, and the rod of Moses swallowed up the rod of the magician, Everybody changed their perception immediately. <laughs> hey, it might be a stammerer. Right? There's something deeper in his inside. Yeah. There's something greater than his inside. Yeah. Every of their impression changed because it is in adequacies God proved himself. Yeah. Stop giving an excuse. And you know another thing that right in the impediment of Moses, Aaron's ministry was established. Yeah. Now there is a purpose. In the inadequacies of the world, you, you can find a place of your niche. Mm. You can find a place of your exploit. You can find a place for your breakthrough. It is time. Listen, God has not finished with you. Yeah. You're a miracle walking on two feet, mm -hmm. going somewhere to happen. Yeah. God has not finished with you yet. There's nothing impossible unto him that believe it. Listen, beloved, it is time for you to pursue your dreams. Amen. Stop giving an excuse. Amen. Pursue your dream. If you Amen. do not pursue your dream, somebody somewhere will hire you to fulfill theirs. Amen. They will pay you. Do you need money? This is what I want you to do. And you know what? That's how Steve Jobs did a lot of things. He would just come with the ideas. And he will give it to the people. He had a dream of what the iPad should look at. He wasn't the one that created the iPad with his hand. He only had a dream. And he had people that he paid to do that. If you do not pursue your dream, somebody is going to make sure they manipulate you to achieve theirs. While you are slaving, while you are laboring, they are somewhere in Hawaii enjoying the best of time. Don't let dream killers stop you. Don't let dream killers kill your dream. It is time for you to move on. There's nothing impossible unto you if you believe God. When a fish is taken out of its natural habitat, that fish will die. If you clip the wings of a bird, you have killed that bird. If bird will not swim in beneath the ocean, a fish will not fly in the sky. Find your niche. Exploit it and reign supremely there. That's whom God has created you to be. Don't give up. Somebody said something. He said, stubbornly persist, and you will find that the limits of your stubbornness go well beyond the stubbornness of your limits. <laughs> Pursue it. Hold tenaciously to it. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. You can be all that God wants you to be without any limitation. Amen. Oh, you are seated here today. It's not time yet. When your time of manifestation comes, the world cannot stand you. No. Your environment cannot contain you. It's like a butterfly. You know, as I round up, before a butterfly comes out of the cocoon, the butterfly goes through stages in life. Now it goes from the head to the lava to the pooper, and then it comes out as a full-blown butterfly. But before that happens, it is a process. Now, when the butterfly gets to the point where it's supposed to come out to become a butterfly, it needs to come and wriggle its way through the cocoon. Now, there was a biology teacher that was doing an experiment, and then he told, he narrated what I just narrated to his students. And he said, listen, let this pooper that was getting out of the cocoon to become a full-blown butterfly come out through his own struggle of his own volition. Now the teacher left. 
By the time he went, now there was a student there that was seeing how the butterfly was struggling to come out of the cocoon and he had pity on that butterfly and broke the cocoon so that the butterfly can come out. Now, eventually when the butterfly came out, the butterfly did not last. It died. Now, when the teacher came back and said, what happened? He said, well, I was trying to help you know the butterfly to get out because I have pity on that butterfly. Listen, beloved, there is always a process of evolution before manifestation. Right. If you don't go through the process, you cannot remain there to manifest the period God wants you to manifest. Yeah. Now, why do we see many people, businesses come in, and before it, there's a rush, and before you know it, they go down the drain. They did not complete the process of evolution. Why do you see ministry come out and it's like a rush and you see the glory and whatever and within a short period of time everything goes down. They did not go through the process of evolution. Through the struggle, through the breaking out of the cocoon that butterfly is meant to flap his wings and fly so high that nothing can hold it. That nothing can stop it. Now, may I tell you something? That struggle is meant to get you to your manifestation. Yes. That pain is meant to get you to where God wants you to get to. That unpleasant situation, no matter how long it takes, one thing I know is that even though weeping endures for a night, joy cometh in the morning. Stop giving the excuses. Hold on to God. Forget your past. And it will be well with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God.